right, boys and girls, we're going to work on writing a sentence, and we're going to make sure we include all of the parts of a sentence. Remember, a sentence starts with a... I hope you said capital letter. I hope you said capital letter, because all sentences start with an uppercase or a capital letter. What letter is this? You're right, that's the letter I, and I makes a word all by itself. Our next word is this one. Remember, I have to leave a finger space. See the space I left? Now what word did I write? I hope you said it's the word C. It is the word C. I, C, What word is that? Remember I left a space? That word is my. Now I'm going to let you choose what you want to write on the last picture card. You can draw a picture or you can write a word. It might say mom or dad or dog or sister. It might even say baby if you recently had a new baby at your house. Now. We have to talk about this little box right here. All sentences end with punctuation. The punctuation mark we're going to learn today is a period. And we've talked about this just a little bit before. I see my, you're going to get to pick the word, and then put a period at the end of your sentence. After you choose your word, you can draw a picture there, or you can actually write the word. If you write, want to write the word mom, you would sound it out. Mm, aw, mm. Just sound it out the best that you can. If you wanted to write the word dad, you would have to stretch out the word dad. D. I know the D sound is for the letter D. A. We learned that letter. That's the letter A. D, D, A, D. And that's the letter D again. You can put any word you want. You could stretch out D, A, G for dog or K, A, T for cat. You might even stretch out duck like Henry because Henry in our class has a duck. D, A, K. All right. Once. You have looked at these words and decided on what word you'd like to write. You're going to write the sentence on your whiteboard or on a piece of paper, but we're going to use our best writing. I'm going to write the word I, and then I can use my finger or a ruler or a popsicle stick to make sure I leave some space. There's a space up here. So we need to leave a space when we write. I leave a space. C. S. E. E. Now what do I do? I hope you said I leave another space. I leave my space and I write the word my. I see my, and I've decided to stretch out the word kid. I see my kid, because right now I can see my kid Molly. So I'm going to stretch out the sounds in the word kid. K, k. I know that that's the k sound for the letter K. K, I, I. <gasps> That's our vowel this week. What letter makes the I sound? Good. I hope you said the letter I. K, I, D, D. What letter should I write? Right. I should write the letter D because the letter D makes the D sound. What goes at the end of my sentence? I hope you said it's a period. Remember, a period looks like a dot, just like we put up here. I see my kid. 
Please show your learning coach how my sentence started. How did it start? I hope you said with a capital letter or with an uppercase letter. A sentence starts with an uppercase letter. An uppercase letter is big, big, big. Good. What is between each of my words? I hope you said a space. And what goes at the very end of my sentence? I hope you said a period. I Remember, you get to choose any word you want here. I wrote the word kid, but it's up to you what you would like to write. So I'm going to erase this and let you decide what word you want to put in your sentence. Remember, when we do writing, we are working on being authors. Authors write the words. Illustrators make the pictures in a book. So when you write, you're practicing how to be an author, and when you make pictures or draw pictures or paint pictures, you're learning to be an illustrator. Great job writing today!